Hi, Thelma and Irene. Looks like the others are maybe running just a little late. We'll give them a minute to show up. But, whew, it is a beautiful day in Portland. Oh, my gosh. It's actually even warm out there, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's always new things, Irene. <laughs> It's never safe to go back in the water. <laughs> Margie and I have this thing. She'll think she has everything she needs from the store, and then I'll go shopping, a bunch of new things will come in, and she'll yell, darn it, Debbie. <laughs> I'll get rid of my advertisement for a Coke there. Can't help but get rid of her to advertise for him a little bit with my drink cup. But let's see, Get some tape out here. Make sure I have glue available. We have some black mirror available if we want that. I got some old stickers available in case we want those. What did you see that intrigued you, Irene? Hey, Glenn. Good to see you. Oh. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> All right. I think I need some more foam squares. That's what I need out here. Let me get a roll of foam tape out. That would be a good idea to have on hand. And I'll reach into a little box here. Some more my packets. Okay. And I have lots of foam squares. Okay. I wanted to bring these in and show you. Maybe we can go in closer. What do you find? Other fun colors in there that could go hmm. with those. Okay. Um. Can you bring that camera in, please? Boy, I comb my hair twice, but it sure doesn't look like it. <laughs> Bryce and I haven't been up long. Dad had a particularly restless night last night. And Bryce got up and pretty much stayed up the night with him. And last night, our, we, we subscribed. Here's our glossy accents on our flower from Thursday. Isn't that pretty? We subscribe to our evening care service five days a week. We're already wondering if we should. <laughs> that must be it, Brenda. <laughs> um, we're already wondering if we should have done seven nights a week. <laughs> Bryce has a terrible head cold. And between his dad keeping him up all night and cold making him feel miserable he's not doing great he's gonna sit over there and snuggle with his puppy and probably go to sleep if i need to adjust anything we'll have to wake him up <laughs> here's the sunflowers many of you said the sunflowers was your favorite here's our rose we did here's our mini dl card that we did Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to do stay up all night on the two extra nights and be ready to teach classes the next day though <laughs> hello Catherine hello Brenda love this and maybe this is the sunflower you guys were talking about I'm not sure the sunflower one hands down I'm not sure which of these two won but one of these won And finally, our other rose. 
the people in class have commented have commented that they can't believe how the oranges and stuff work so well with the reds in here. But the bright, bright colors are a lot of fun. I just realized I never turned my light on when I sat down. Oh, let's put a little light on the subject. Okay, today I told you we were going to do one of two things. We're doing neither. <laughs> Everybody seemed to enjoy these so much. We're going to go back and do another one of these stained glass today. This one is called Beautiful Blossoms, and it is SG stained glass, SG floral 901 that we're doing today. Now, we do not have a lot of these in the store. We're almost out of everything stained glass related. But as long as I was starting to work on them, I thought I'd go ahead and continue on our trend here for a little bit. Um, we will have more of these. I just don't know what that date's going to be yet. But they are just really quite beautiful. So let's go ahead and get this process started. And I'll show you the components to our kit. Here's our here's our foiled piece of cardstock. Now these the foiling of these is deceptive because they're foiled in black. Uh, there's this one. Here's the unfoiled version, which is printed. It has black ink, but it doesn't have black foiling. And here's our topper sheet. So it looks like we should get, I'm going to say five cards today. Let's see how we do on that. I'm going to start with, I usually like to start with a, one on the cardstock so I can see how much cardstock I've got left to work with. And I think we'll do that today. Let's go ahead. I think I will make a small card in this corner because that leaves us lots of material left for our other cards. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one in European A6. I'm going to cover it in Mary board because why not? It's beautiful. Black Mary is gorgeous. I love that water lily, too. And, of course, I love the roses or peonies, whatever they are. I think they're peonies this time. Love those. Lots of nice comments on the card. Okay. Go ahead and cover this card in black mirror board. It'll be very pretty. These stained glass backgrounds are just beautiful too. You can see Bryce really trying over there. It's been eight minutes and he hasn't gone to sleep yet. He's already said, when we leave this stream, I'm going to bed. Don't even plan on anything else. I'm headed for bed. Okie dokie. Put that on crooked. Try and see if I can take that off. Seems to work with regular hunky dory tape. And hard to take off without tearing up your card. But I mostly got it off. I just didn't get it as straight as I wanted. Let's just try that again. Hi, Kim. Good to see you, my friend. The Kim Greenwood or Three Roses, Kim? Greenwood. You have the keyboard. Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that the last of this roll of hunky dory tape? Don't worry about the finger lift tape, though. We were really low for a while, but we just got a 60 roll order of hunky dory tape in, so we'll be good with that for a while. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a good afternoon for me, too. I love you guys. 
They're great fun. Oh, Catherine's sending you a virtual hot lemon drink. There is some lemon tea over there. Why don't you make one of those? That requires movement. Yeah, okay. Mary R. Come in. Hi, Mary R. Also known as Ari R. <laughs> Keyboards. What do you do with a keyboard? Keyboards are a pain. But they keep us talking, so we lose them. I'm going to try and get this on here straight this time. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to have fingerprints all over this Black Mary. But I'll have my little microfiber cloth here. I'll wipe them off. Those work really well. Just a little microfiber cloth. So I have one specific to the job in the store. It's um, from Scrap Perfect. It works great for cleaning your glasses and for wiping fingerprints off pictures and mirror board. But you don't really have to buy the more expensive one from the craft retailer. I just get these little packs of Mary or of microfiber cloths and they tend to work pretty well. You can polish things right back up when you're done. So that's good. It's a good tool to have on hand. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my cardstock. Okay. I'm going to cut it to five and five eighths, which will actually give me one half piece left. Plus, it will give me, I have this much, and then I, I can cut two panels from that. This is going to be three and seven eighths, and I have a little bit more than half on that side left. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Look how pretty that's going to be. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see what we got for reading some things here. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, oh we have a pretty. We have a pretty. Um, order they've given us here. I think we'll use that. Yeah. Like this peony border. Love that together. That's beautiful. Let's see if any sentiments or fun things here I could use. I guess. Um, if we use this little all the best. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do right there. All the best. That'll be pretty. Okay, let's see. Let's see some. Just need some tape to put this down. Thank you, Mary. I know he will appreciate that. <laughs> it's just not feeling good at all. Dad had that crud last week and your granny knows some stuff and I knew we'd be lucky not to have it because <laughs> he couldn't help but share the wealth. <laughs> Teddy's got his chin propped up on Bryce's keyboard over there and he's sleeping in Bryce's lap. And Bryce is kind of <laughs> dozing off now. All right, 
So you got my tape hangs over the edge just a little bit there on that black mirror board that would show. So I'm going to get rid of that. Everything shows on Black Mary. It's beautiful, but everything shows on Black Mary. <laughs> I use my tape flags to center this, find what I, where I want to put it, and then pull the tape out. I'm going to put just a little piece of this border here. Because that's just a little shorter than I intended to. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my tape on it. And then I'm going to cut it in half because it doesn't have to be under the doesn't have to be under the we'll see what we're going to put on there. Straighten up that edge just a little. I'm going to go ahead and cut this border. Well, do I even need to? Yeah, I'm going to cut this border a little bit. Just cut it in half. I'm going to go ahead and put our first piece down. I want it to be about an inch out from the side. We'll put our second piece next to that. So again, about an inch from the side, straight, and then we'll put a little piece of foam square on here. And that's it for number one. I just don't think we need to do anything else to that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. We might put a little glossy accents on it when we're done. Okay. Let's do another one. We have that piece we cut off. That should be well suited for our next card. This might be fun to go the other way. Turn my card just a tad, but that's okay. I like this one. It says, beauty blossoms the moment you decide to be yourself. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to put some Mary board down on here. Let's cut this piece to go over Mary. And that will work just fine. Still have to trim the card just a little. Says her green beard A's are over. Okay. So I'm going to peel this off. my gold 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 she says gold 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 <laughs> all right i 
I'm going to trim this off just a little bit because you can see I got some little bit of white showing. My mirror board is just a little smaller than my card. It's no great shakes. I just make those little white areas go away. Heavy duty caterpillar trimmer. Okay, now I'm going to cut this one. I think. Yeah. I'm going to put the blue side towards the pink and the pink side towards the blue because I think that'll be pretty. And I need to cut this to three and an eighth. Three and seven eighths, sorry. Three and seven eighths. Get your cutting your cardstock wrong. That's pretty. And. Let's see what I want to do here. We still have this beautiful piece of border, which doesn't quite fit. But it could fit if we chopped it. And what else do we want to do? I think we want to go with some star forms. <laughs> Drinking ale through a straw, huh? I've never been much of a beer drinker. Ale, beer, none of it. I just don't enjoy the taste of it. Bryce looks like he's been on about a two-week bender here. <laughs> he gave me half a smile. <laughs> That's about all I'm going to get this morning. <laughs> and he's shaking his head. He'll give me a shake of his head. But don't even bug him for more than that. <clears throat> kind of clearing my throat here a bit. I'm a little gravelly too. I've had a touch of that, but I haven't gotten it near as bad as Bryce has gotten it. Let's see now. I put this in the middle. I set out some stickers to use. Where did I put them? <laughs> I set them out. But where? Where did I put them? Really? I set them out. Let's see, we used yesterday. They're there they're under my polishing cloth. Okay. I've got some pretty kind of square corners that I think would do us do great my S with these because they're fairly large. So I'm going to oops. They'll take up a little bit of our void space there, which would be good. So I'm gonna go right into the corner with that. Love that gold on there. Wow. And pick up another. Looking pretty. Bryce doesn't get sick very often. He's a pretty healthy guy on the hall. But... So when he doesn't feel good, he's grumpy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn that hot water on, hun, please. All right. And I want some lines on here. I think what I'm going to do is set these lines in a ways and take up like a half inch around here. So let's try that.
One for one, got two. I'll set this on the edge of our table for now. I'm going to go right from the corner to the corner of my styrofoam corner there. Trim that. And I'm going to come over here and grab that corner again. And two strips will go a long ways on this because we are so far into our card putting those putting those on. But two strips will take us all the way around. I love some of these corners that have multiple bumpies on them though. Because if you decided that you wanted to do a double border or something, you could easily line up and get that. And isn't that pretty? Just add that extra little bit. They're thanking you for coming to class anyway so they can have class brace. are set in quite a ways so I don't know that I even need to do this with the black but I'm going to just because white put up against black tends to just jump out so even though it's a little ways from the edge I'm still going to stripe the edge of my foam strips too Make them black. There we go. Easy peasy. I'll put that there. Come up here and grab this pink. Happy birthday. Put it right at the top of that. That's going to look beautiful. I'm going to actually put it over my line. So we've got 20 people out there right now. Welcome, everybody. If you want to sign on and chat with us, we'd welcome you, but you don't have to. Do you know what I just did, guys? Look. I just did it backwards again. <laughs> I seem to have done that a lot lately. Now, 
I could make an easel card out of this. <laughs> It'll still stand up just fine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I did it the wrong way. Hi, Sandy. We haven't seen you for a while. Oh, happy birthday. Yep, I did it backwards. I will. I'll cut it off. In fact, I don't think I'll do it now. <laughs> yep. I'll cut it off and glue it on a new face. <laughs> no matter how long I do this, I still will do that. You guys do that every once in a while, too, I'll bet you. I can't believe I did it this soon again. I just did it the other day, and now I'm doing it again. And I had cut my other one, my other card down a little bit, so I'm going to have to cut this one down. A little bit extra off of there. <laughs> well, it should make you feel good to know you're not the only one who does it. I do it too. A little bit more off of the side. Now we have a nice matchup. Go ahead and glue that down. <laughs> Might start a new trend. I sent my mom one that I, one that I did like this one time. She didn't get it. She didn't even think it was weird. <laughs> Of course, that's what moms are for. Moms are supposed to think your work is beautiful no matter. <laughs> so she just said it was beautiful. <laughs> Didn't even remark on the fact that it was backward. <laughs> okay. Now we have two. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. There's an example of using a smaller topper on a card. That looks great, doesn't it? We just had to make the background a little bigger. Or mat it or do something. You can make the topper bigger. You can make the, you know, fill the void space on your background. All right. Three more to do here. I think. I have one more small topper here, so I think we'll go ahead and use this one. And I have this pretty piece of border left. And I have good luck. <laughs> good luck seems kind of abrupt. Good luck. Oh, I also have this little matching flower. We'll take this. Maybe one of these two will be a good fit for that. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. And I think I will keep working on <clears throat> this piece of cardstock I had since I still have two great card faces out of this cardstock by using the European A6s. The European A6 is four. That's what moms do. That is true. When I was new to alcohol markers. I covered a stamped image and gave it to my mom. She said, well, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that's hilarious, Mary. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. I think we started a trend with our Mary board, and I actually have to, I'm going to have void to fill again, so I think we'll go ahead and cover this one with Black Mary, too. Why not? Well, the Bryce did give me, he handed me another piece of Mary card here that actually could be really pretty with this. Oh, I don't know. That might be a bit much. What if I put that on the outside and put, no. Let's see. No. That just isn't a good match. That's a good try. It's just not a good match. Oh. They also brought me a piece of black 
shimmer paper. That's actually pretty. The orange, the coppers, too much, I think. Let's try this red instead of the... And put the red. I think that could be nice. Let's try it. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get it, but we'll try it. We'll see how it works out. Oh, I already had a card started. Okay, I bet she did, Mary. <laughs> I bet she did. I'm sure she didn't conscientiously mean it, but yes. <laughs> I can think of a few times that my mother managed to really hurt my feelings, too, and she just didn't even notice, just rolled on forward. She was talking with us about, she was talking to Bryce and my sister about somebody that she had met. She was saying, she's a big girl, you know. I mean a really big girl. I, I like Debbie big. <laughs> and then she also went on with what she was saying. And my sister said, Mom. She said, what? <laughs> she didn't even get it. <laughs> like Debbie big. Really big girl. That little um, Valentine that you sent, Thelma, was just the most adorable thing. Speaking of little cards, that was just adorable. I'm sure most of us as parents have done that at some point in time and just not even realized we were doing it, you know. daughter my youngest daughter was going to prom we she bought a beautiful dress and she had nice shoes and a handsome young man taking her to prom and i said please just keep your makeup really light and pretty let's just do it really light and pretty well that wasn't what she had planned so she and her friend Corey disappeared into the bathroom and she came back with lady gaga kind of I uh, I makeup. Oh, I wanted to kill her. <laughs> she said I ruined her prom because I wasn't I wasn't enthusiastic and excited that she had adventured out and done. I hated it, <laughs> and fundamentally an honest person i don't think honesty is a good excuse for hurting people's feelings but i am I, you know you can read my feelings on my face it's almost impossible for me not to show you exactly what i'm thinking she did and she did not like my comment It did the makeup kind of like the cat's eye, bringing everything up to a point outside the eyelid? Okay, let's see. Hmm. This might actually be interesting. A little piece of black here, too. I'm going to cut this one to be for three and seven eighths by five and five eighths that's the same dimension as my card just have to take a little bit extra off because i cut the bottom off my card this is an experiment there's no telling what we're getting here guys Take this.
Okay, go ahead and put some tape strips here, tape flags, so I can center this. Okay. Um, look at that. We have a black sh shimmery stripe around it. Well, I get into so much trouble and I think, I wonder what would happen if. <laughs> and then away I go. Come on. <laughs> away I go from there. This can be pretty wild. I don't know. Maybe try putting this directly on and not the black. I think that's a little better. Three and three, or three and seven eighths. So now this time I need to be three and five eighths. I'm coming down by a little bit each time. I do like the blue parts, so I'll cut the extra off the pink. And that was five and five eighths, so it's going to have to be five and three eighths less. Just a little extra because I have cut those down. It is going to be interesting. I can tell you that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I grew up in the 70s. I, that's when I was exploring with makeup, and we wanted deep blue, bright, bright blue eye makeup. And oh, my mom would say, Go back to the bathroom and take half of that off. <laughs> You're not leaving the house like that. Go take half of that off. I should have used Black Mary instead of this uh, black shimmer paper because it just doesn't have the same wallop that the that the Black Mary has. That looks pretty good, though. Like I said, way different. Sometimes when we make way different, we love them. Sometimes when we make way different, we don't love them. I think this might be I don't love it, but it's okay. <laughs> I cut it too short. So, do what we did last time. If it isn't in the middle, or if it isn't going to show, you don't have to have it there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he wouldn't let you wear denim out of the house unless it was ironed. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
I've never even heard of ironing denim. If you decide to do one like this, I recommend that you use Mary instead of this black shimmer because it just loses something not having the, the Mary on it. But you live and you learn, and you learn new things. And that's okay, because we're here to have fun. I think I'm going to introduce just a little bit more black, so I'm going to put a... Black stripe down here. And then just bring the red back in. I think I'm going to put a little bit of red in that black stripe. Just see what it looks like. Don't know. Might be good, might be bad. Sure to be interesting. I do think I like the extra black, though. I do like that. Blue this rather carefully. That is definitely different. I think it's okay. I can't even imagine people. There must be somebody out there today who irons sheets, but I'm not one of them. If I've made the bed, that's monumental. <laughs> Probably still people out there somewhere doing that. <clears throat> I remember my mom starching clothes from a, from a very young age, though. She made us iron our own if they were going to get ironed. <laughs> I've always subscribed to floss, so you're going to get back into it anyway. <laughs> From the time I was a kid, I've subscribed to that philosophy. Why in the world would you need to make that bed?
And when I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I wish I had like some little black jewels. That would look good. It would also look good to have like some little hearts or just some little hearts or dots that kind of went around here and <clears throat> kind of filled some of that outer space. <clears throat> but hubby's sound asleep over there, so I'm not going to bug him to go and find something. But I probably still will do that to it. Maybe add some little rhinestones or something just scattered around the background. And I think that would look pretty good. So there's our totally creative card. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> All right. We got two cards left. Can you believe it? Wow, it's 151 and we have two cards left. I'm not going to try and make two sets today because Oh, that's beautiful. These are both going to be beautiful. We have this beautiful card stock form to go on. That's amazing. Oh, baby, I like that. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to use a five by seven. really pretty to just capture a little bit of that border above and below. Do I like it better like this? Or do I like it better like this? I guess I have two, two, two turns to try. I think I'm going to try and put that card stuck on there so I get a little bit of the a little bit of the top border and a little bit of the bottom border. Maybe the other side will use one side or the other. <laughs> now, do you make your bed as an adult, Mary? <laughs> my mom would be mortified that I'm here on the internet confessing I don't make my bed most of the time. She would be mortified. You can raise better than that, though. <laughs> There's Annette. Hello, Annette. We're making beautiful stained glass cards again. I think in about a month we'll have these papers. Probably take about a month. I don't see a pre-order form for them soon. I might go ahead and get more from UK, but I'd like to avoid doing that if I can. So darn expensive. <laughs> my craft room is also my classroom, so it's big. And there's very little wrong with that. I love having a big craft room. But it means that when you're on stream, stuff is often on the other side of the room from you. <laughs> yeah, that looked pretty, didn't it? I like that. Now yeah, let's see what we want to do here.
you're gonna make yourself some lemon tea or orange tea honey that citrus would help Rascality. I love that word, Catherine. <laughs> I definitely want the black back in there. You know what you get. Just try it and stuff. Don't like that though. I'm gonna stack it all back up. The lemon tea? Orange tea. Orange tea. Good on you. Having some orange ginger tea now, guys. So hopefully that will perk him up a little. This one back inside because it definitely wants that. <laughs> Rascally rabbit. No more fud. Tribute your quotes. <laughs> I love you, Mary, for being honest. <laughs> so I'm not alone. I used to have a friend that came to my house, and she was just a stickler for housekeeping. I mean, amazingly so. She'd run, she'd walk, walk along and run her finger across the top of your refrigerator to see if you dusted up there, and run her finger above the door you know, over the, the um, trim boards on the door to see if you dusted up there. She's just ridiculous. One day she had done that two or three times around my house. She said, uh, she first wiped across the top of my refrigerator. Then she wiped across the top of the board. And then she said, do you know that most people's phones are the most dirty place in the house? <laughs> Wheeled around to the sink. I reached underneath. I got a, a can of 49 <laughs> or this bottle of um, 49 cleaner and some paper towels. And I handed them to her. I said, knock yourself out, friend. <laughs> knock yourself out, my friend. <laughs> Oh, I'll bet it's so cool, Sharma. I'll bet it, your journal is so cool. <laughs> she said something like, I'm not criticizing, I'm just noticing. <laughs> was my friend Van. <laughs> Bryce had taken afternoons this last week off to had a problem with our therapy pool and sprung a, it needed new gaskets and it was losing water. I don't recommend doing this, guys. Sometimes you just have to. I just didn't like the way it sat in there. So he had taken the afternoon off this week and he was going to work each afternoon since it was supposed to be beautiful outside, work each afternoon cleaning the tub before we put it back online. And he came down with this stuff and didn't even have a chance to start it. Mary says your orange ginger tea sounds 
sounds good. Does it taste good? You don't know? You have not that much taster? Too hot. Oh, it's too hot to just drink it down. Okay. Okay. This is really pretty. I'm tempted to do more with it, but it really actually has a few things going on already with all those colors and stuff. I think I might leave it alone. What do you guys think? Is there anything you think should go on here? It really is quite pretty. It is good luck, but it just doesn't seem to really fit the tone of these cards. Catherine says you need to drink it as hot as you can. I'm going to leave this alone for now. If I look over there and I see something I think I should do to it, I will. But I actually think it's quite beautiful. And I don't know that we want to do anything else to that one. we got one left to go. Two pieces of cardstock left. Ooh, this would be beautiful on this little piece. We end up having a lot left over, but... <laughs> we our new neighbors came over this is 20 years ago now our new neighbors came over to visit us and they had a baby with them and the baby had a toy and when they left, they said they thought the baby left the toy there. And so they came back over and said, did you guys happen to find this? And we looked around and we looked under the sofa and around it and we didn't find the toy. And they said, I'm sorry. It was like the baby's favorite toy, of course. And it was how long before we, we changed furniture and moved those out? Two years, three years. And we found the baby's toy when we moved the sofa clear out of the room. <laughs> I was too embarrassed to tell the neighbors we found it. <laughs> as much as confessing, I'm actually going to put that on that little card. Because I think that's actually going to be very pretty there. This will be one where we don't have a lot of void space to deal with. But <laughs> I was too embarrassed to tell them we found it after all that time. Yeah, absolutely, Mary R. <laughs> yeah, my, my friend Pam is unique. She's actually wonderful, and I love her. <laughs> She's a unique person. <laughs> One time she and I were driving back from Yakima, which is in the middle of the state of Washington, and... We're driving a little Ford Courier pickup. And Pam was not comfortable. It's not a particularly comfortable vehicle at any time. And she kept trying to put her feet on the dashboard of my Ford Courier pickup. There's just no room to do that stuff. And then she started pontificating about being out here driving alone at night and getting reaped by truckers. <laughs> well, I was about ready to get rid of Pam. I thought, well, I don't have that much time left. <laughs> so we trekking along there, and I came up over this hill, and there was a town there that didn't belong there. <laughs> And I pulled into a gas station and I said, just hypothetically speaking, if I were lost and if this were not White Pass, where would I be? He said, lady, you're well on the way to Seattle, opposite direction. Well, not an opposite direction, a 90 degree turn from where I wanted to be. And he said, at this point, you're far enough along, you just well keep going. <laughs> so... I had Pam for an extra two hours that day. <laughs> I love her. I do. I totally love her. But she's her own person. and <laughs> The stuff she comes up with is amazing. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, I do like this. This is just going to be a really pretty one. Easier one than some of the ones we've done, but really pretty. I'm going to have a couple tags left over that I think I'll just keep because I like to use tags with bows, and somehow bows and stained glass don't go together. It just doesn't seem right together. Textures are all wrong. So I think I'll keep the tags and not do anything with them on this kit. I can't believe it took me so long to figure this out. Well, let's see if this comes to say as a <laughs> as a surprise to anybody. I used to try and put the glue on this piece and then fit it in while well, I was forever getting glue all over this outside piece. And so I finally learned to just outline this on the inside and stick the ring into it instead of coming at my cart with all that glue on the piece. And then you don't get glue all over the place getting that in there. Put this piece up on some foam again. Let's go ahead and put some of these strips so we can. Oh, I think there's a lot of road construction everywhere, Irene, with the passage of the infrastructure bill, which is great because we sure had some areas that needed attention. Oh, my gosh. Federal highways and bridges and stuff were terrible. So we got construction going everywhere. But I'm glad to see it. Uh, foul language. That's very good, Mary R. That's very good. I bet that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, what I do with my pen. It's got to be here somewhere. I knocked it on the floor. She probably did. The floor? No. There it is. Well, Brad or a gem on the tags, that's a good idea. I just love these intensity markers. I have enjoyed them so much. They're a lot like my Sharpies, except that the nibs on the pens stay firmer on these intensity markers than they did on my Sharpies. And I'm loving that because I can just use them forever. They're also staying very juicy, which is nice too. I like the gem or the bread idea, Sharma. That's a good idea. All right, we're just going to recap here in one second, Catherine, and show our cards for today. And then I think we're going to be done, too, believe it or not. Turkey truck. Turkey truck. What's the answer to your... Oh, a turkey truck. 
Yeah. Was that the answer before? I missed it, Annette. Was the foul language the answer? Yeah. That was a really good one. Mary R. nailed that one. Turkey trot. <laughs> okay. Wowzer, that's pretty. Okay, let's see what we've got. What we've made today. We have a big, beautiful piece of cardstock left. Let's see what we have. Okay, as usual, I'm going to ask you to vote. So we've got this one that we just did, the small peony card, also known as number one. We have the water lily card. We have our creative card. Actually, I really like our creative card. It's going to be really good when I get some gems on there. We've got our um, gold bordered card. And we've got our all the best peony card. So, anyone turkey running? We saw the turkey trot, turkey running. Oh, no. Oh, I was thinking maybe foul play or something. Foul. <laughs> Peony cards. So when you, when we sign off, please go into the comment section. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite card was today. Want to see him one more time? Fast food. <laughs> okay. Here's number one. Here's our water lily, also known as number two. So go in and, and leave a comment. Tell me which one is the best, okay? Number three is our creative card. Number four has gold borders. And number five is our first our, our first peony card. So um, we are fini we're finishing up for today. I can't believe it, but we are. Um, are there any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? And while you ponder that, let me tell you that um, if you haven't already done it, I sure would appreciate it if you'd leave a thumbs up for us. That is a way that YouTube knows that our channel's good and that they should recommend it. They also judge that based on comments left. So when we um, finish the, the show today, we will sign off and as soon as we sign off you can hit that refresh button on your screen and it will bring up the comment section so um leave me a comment if you would please and uh, anybody who's out there who's not a subscriber you want to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode of what we're up to we are making beautiful things every day just gorgeous things so you can catch us here on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific time. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can catch us on uh, Thursdays for our Thursday craft time at 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern. You can catch us on Saturdays at 11 a.m., which is 2 o'clock Pacific time. Or excuse me, 2 o'clock Eastern time. And... These are our cards from Thursday. Are there any questions? I didn't see any come up, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you don't have any. And I'm going to wish you guys a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend, and we will see you on Wednesday. Good night, Gracie.